this is just a page that talks about uh, something called specific rotation. Um, you will not be asked to calculate this. Uh, we just want to let you know about it. And the, the fact that the specific rotation will depend on the sample concentration. So more molecules in the way, more molecules in the solution, the light will be, um, the change in polarization will be more. The path length, so the longer that tube, again, the more contact with the molecules that change the, the polarization. And they have a standard for this that also includes temperature and wavelength. And so you can get very specific with these types of measurements. We're not gonna do it. We just want you to know that it is possible. We'll save the rest for organic chemistry. And then we'll finally do an example. And in this example, we're going to take two bromobutane. And what I've done is I've built two bromobutane. We know this is butane because it's got four carbons. We know it's two bromo, and this is what we're calling bromine. I know it has extra holes in it, and bromine does not want extra bonds, but hopefully that'll be okay. We've got two bromobutane, and I didn't look to which of these which of these enantiomers I built, but let's see. Um, so you put the uh, lowest priority one in the back. My bromo with my highest atomic number will be my number one substituent. Then I've got two carbons. This will be my number two, uh, number three. And as I go from one to two to three, I'm going clockwise. This is going to be our R2 bromobutane. And as you can see, uh, let's see, right, if I hold it like this, and the bromine is coming towards me. That is what I'm getting. Oh. For this one right here. And all we want to show you is that now we can actually do the experiment or somebody else did the experiment to show that this has a minus. And minus means that the plane of light is uh, the plane of polarized light is rotated to the left or counterclockwise. So, and that that will also be called uh, L um, because L stands for levo, which is the Greek word for left. So we have rex, uh, rectus, um, which is identifying the clockwise order of the substituents and levo. So technically this would be, depends on how you do it. You could do uh, R minus, uh, or you could do R levo in front of the two bromobutane. Um, then the other one would be S, and it will also be called D for dextro. And again, levo means left in Greek, dextro means right in Greek. And that's as opposed to rectus and sinister, which are the Latin words for right and left. Let's see, good. Oh, and this one's a plus. So dextro goes with plus. And so it is possible to be R and minus. It is possible to be R and plus because they are unrelated. You have to do the experiments. Here we've got aspartic acid. And as far as aspartic acid goes, then uh, it's an amino acid. We said plus is dextrorotary, dextro, and minus is levorotary. And the compound has the S configuration. Um, which we can prove. We've got an H here. We've got an N, which is our highest priority. Looks like we've got, uh, and this is our fourth priority, of course. We've got a carbon, then two oxygens. We've got a carbon and then a carbon. So this is going to be two. This is going to be three. With our lowest, uh, sorry, 
our lowest priority, our fourth priority back. We go one, two, three. We are going counterclockwise. This is the S configuration. S and R only depend on the substituent order and whether they go clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, and then you have to actually do the experiments to do plus or minus, which is D or L.